When trying to learn more about the human brain, it's best to start with what we don't know. It sounds wrong that we haven't even discovered the very pathways that control the human brain, but that's in fact the truth. Which means scientists know very little about the most complex organ in our bodies, one that never ceases to amaze them. We know that when the brain thinks it's taking a medication to improve a function like thinning out the blood, you can actually thin out the blood by taking a, a, a sugar tablet that you think might be thinning out your blood. That's why scientists from around the world are joining in an effort called brain mapping to look at the brain in a way that's never been done before. Think of brain mapping in terms of the way Google Earth operates. You start by taking a snapshot of the Earth, which is similar to the concept of an MRI and other forms of imaging. Zoom it down, way down to street level, and now you can see particular landmarks, buildings, in this case, the Opera House. Well, guess what? That's the cellular level in the brain. Now, scientists say this kind of view gives them a better idea of what's happening in those cells, how they perform, and why. That detailed view will be particularly useful for combating diseases. What happens during, during a particular disease, why that communication is disrupted, and how we can fix it. Researchers say there's another incentive to better understanding those diseases, especially forms of dementia. If you look at the cost of uh, treating uh, Alzheimer disease in the U.S. alone, $200 billion per year. In 10 years, that cost is going to uh, go up to about a trillion dollar. No world economy can sustain that. In this country, spending on dementia is expected to exceed every other health condition. It's a tip of the whole iceberg where it is going to explode unless we put in place because the public funding alone will not handle it. Which is one more reason why scientists from around the world are working together and pooling resources to create the most detailed map to date of an organ that remains such a mystery. Greg Navarro, SBS World News.